Okay, today we're working on the boat cover. This is the factory cover. It's a, you know, four years old, but it's not very water repellent. Water just soaks right through it. So I got this stuff. This is the 303 Fabric Guard from Marine Fabrics. This is a gallon size. I'm gonna get put this into a garden sprayer, spray it on, let it sit, soak in, let it dry. Hopefully that's gonna make the boat cover more water repellent. So first step, just gonna make sure the cover's clean. I sprayed it off a few days ago, so it's dry. You wanna apply it to a dry fabric. And then I wanna just kinda get it all straightened out so we can spray this stuff on evenly. All right, we're gonna use this garden sprayer here to apply this product. Just gonna put it in there, gonna put it in on pretty generously. All right, we got the product in here, now we're just gonna Spray it on. I want to do it so I have a fan spray. All right, just got done with the first coat. That whole, I used that entire gallon on this. So this is a 23 foot boat cover and I used the entire gallon. So I was thinking I might get more use out of it, but I, I saturated it pretty good. Some of the areas in the, here in the back where water would pool up, I did those kind of twice. You know, this has that hang tight deal that hangs off the tower. So it suspends the middle of the cover up but it'll still water will still pull a little bit here in the back corners so areas where water will pull up you want to add a little bit more but that whole gallon did this whole cover with really none extra to spare so use that as a guide probably need a gallon for 23 foot boat cover it just says to leave it out for you know until it's dry so I'm just gonna leave it sitting here in the sun also, 70 degrees or higher temperature. But anyways, I'm going to let that dry and then we'll put it on the boat, test out its 
water resistance. All right, we got the cover here propped up. We're just gonna spray a little water. It's been three or four hours since this stuff's gone on. So we're gonna spray a little water on here. Kind of see how the... All right, water's definitely beating off of it. Definitely a lot better than it was. Like before, it just would soak in like a sponge. It was pretty bad. So it's here, here water's pooling up a little bit here, but it doesn't think it's going through the cover. So I think it's done a pretty good job. Here it looks like it's soaking in a little bit. Maybe it needs a little more. Anyways, I'll try the water test again, maybe after it's uh, dried for you know over 24 hours. See if it makes any difference. So it looks like it's improved it a little bit. Maybe it needs a second coat of it. Definitely don't want the water soaking. Okay, been 24 hours, got the cover on the boat. This is just inside, and I wanna just test out the water resistancy of this cover and the new spray we put on there. I just put a little water on there, but it, uh, we see here, I think it's beating up pretty good. Beating up real good. I mean, so it's like just beating off, like, and beating up, not penetrating the fabric, which is great. See that there? So, as far as it working right now, I'm pretty pleased with it, with how that works. If it, water just stays on top of it. So we'll have to see how it holds up over time. This does stay in door. It does stay in the garage, so it's really not an issue. But uh, I think it'll be fine for my purposes. If you're storing your boat outside all the time, you might need a couple coats of this throughout the season to keep it lasting. But I'll do an update if it uh, after a season of use. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel.